And good evening, everyone. The threat of severe weather across the area canceled and postponed many college sporting events except for one. Patrick Murphy and his Alabama softball team traveling over to Florence to face a tough Lipscomb team. Now, these two squads have won 59 games collectively so far this season, so you know it was going to be a good one, and the wind was blowing hard at the Florence Sportsplex. In the first, Billy Hemp here with the flag fly into left. Chandler Dare scores to give Alabama an early lead. Let's jump to the sixth. Alabama up 2-0. Dare gets out by way of fielder's choice. Alyssa Brown scores that wide is the lead to three. Not long after runners in scoring position, Marissa Runyon with the base hit to right. Two more Alabama runs will score and the Crimson Tide win and shut out fast tonight by a final score of five to nothing. After the game, Alabama head coach Patrick Murphy says tonight was an overall success. On a weird weather day uh, to begin with was just um, it's very heart heartwarming for us to come out and see all these great softball fans, Alabama fans, and um, and it was a good win for us because they're in the top 50 of the RPI and that's a big bonus for us. Uh, both teams actually it was a win-win for both of us. Now today, the WZDX sports team learned that Muscle Shoals baseball coach Josh Fowler has been suspended for the rest of the season. The suspension is serving as a punishment for Fowler's players who violated school district policies on a spring break tournament trip last week in Destin, Florida. Now moving over to the gridiron after a fabulous freshman year, Alabama quarterback Jalen Hurts wants to take his game to a new level and doesn't want to experience a sophomore slump. Hurts told us why he won't have that slump and figures to be better in 2017. After the national championship game, my sophomore year started on the 10th of January. So, I mean, it's just a different mindset. I'm older, more mature, more experienced. So, hopefully we can get back this year. Gus Malzahn and the Auburn Tigers are gearing up for their annual A-Day game, which is this Saturday. Keep an eye out on the defense in this contest. Defensive coordinator Kevin Steele has preached to his unit this spring about being process-oriented and not result-oriented. After ranking near the bottom in the SEC in turnover margin last season, the Tigers are trying to create more turnovers this season. Really emphasized takeaways uh, and have had some big days in practice where we had strips and, and caused some things to, to happen. But we still got a long way to go because it's still there's a little ebb and flow of things. It's not constant yet. We reach our first sports media timeout. We'll return former Dallas Cowboys coach Jimmy Johnson in the Rocket City today. He shared his thoughts about various ideas, including Tony Romo. We'll hear from him after the break. You're watching WZDX Sports, sponsored by Jacksonville State University. Welcome back, everyone. Big names from the sports world have been in the Rocket City lately, like Trey Flowers and Kyle Larson. Well, today, former Dallas Cowboys coach Jimmy Johnson added his name to that list. The two-time Super Bowl winning coach was the motivational speaker at an event which was held by the Express Employment Professionals at the BBC. He gave strong words about being a leader and also shared details about his current tenure at Fox Sports as an NFL analyst. After the event, Coach Johnson shared his thoughts about former Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo making the move from the gridiron to the broadcasting booth. So it's going to be an adjustment for Tony, but I, I don't think that Tony's going to go back and play football again. I think his health situation is such that he knows that he's probably one hit away from ending his career. That's why he got into television, and, and I think that's something that he wanted to do you know, for the long haul anyway. Switching over to basketball now, the future of the Alabama men's hoop squad is bright. Avery Johnson has a strong group returning and a top five recruiting class currently, and that includes some of the best talent in the state of Alabama, like five-star guard John Petty, who just won the Mr. Basketball title for the second year in a row. And his future teammates walked away yesterday with some hardware as well. Pelham forward Alex Reese is a 6A player of the year, and Hale County guard Herb Jones earned the 3A player of the year. I'm just proud of them just being able to win the awards just like I did, so I'm, I'm ready to get down to Tuscaloosa and work. And it's never too early to talk. Talking about next year, some preseason basketball polls were released, and Alabama's ranked in several of them. USA Today has them preseason ranked 18th. CBS Sport has them ranked 20th. Yahoo Sports 23rd. And the Sporting News has them ranked 21st. 
keep in mind, these are all preseason. Basketball doesn't start up till like next November. Now, Avery Johnson, he'll have to replace another player on the squad. Junior guard Armand Davis announcing recently of his plans to transfer from the squad via Twitter. Last season, he played in 32 games after transferring in from junior college. He averaged seven points a game and finished fourth on the team in three pointers made with 30. Too. So you want to wish him the best of luck, but at the same time, next man up theory is always going to be in place for Coach Johnson. That's true. Got to keep that in mind. Yeah, we're uh, just barely out of March, so I think it's uh, just a little while longer before we get back to some basketball. That's season. true, but don't forget, football's got to take its <laughs> place right. first. Oh, we got to no focus on football first. Yeah, lots I'm of excitement about that. coming. Yeah.